Do you have the job or does the job have you? Do you use your phone or is your phone using you? Do you own stuff or does your stuff own you? For creators, do you have an audience or does the audience have you? What I love about the Stoics is that they were doers. Seneca is not just a philosopher, not just a political advisor, but he's also a writer. He's one of Rome's greatest playwrights, his most famous playwrights. Seneca was so famous as a playwright, there is a line from one of his plays graffitied on a wall in Pompeii, preserved all these centuries later. And in fact, for many years, historians did not believe that Seneca could have been all these different people. But that's what creative people are. They were multi-hyphenates. They could do more than one thing. And I think there's all sorts of great lessons from Seneca about how to be creative in whatever it is that you do, whether you become a writer or a painter, an entrepreneur or a politician. What are the strategies for being more creative and for being a good professional at whatever it is that you do? I'm Ryan Holiday. I've applied these strategies in my own life in the 12 books that I've written, in the talks I've given everyone from the NBA to the NFL, sitting senators, special forces operators. In today's episode, I want to give you some rules for creativity from some of the great creative stoics that I think will make you better at whatever it is that you do. Enjoy. People ask me what the secret to writing, you know, 10, 11 books in 10 years, writing bestsellers, and, and I tell them there is no secret. I just work every single day, right? I do a little bit every single day. I try to make a little bit of progress every single day. This is a core precept of Stoicism. Zeno says, well-being is realized by small steps, but it's no small thing. Marx Aurelius says, assemble your life action by action. No one can stop you from that, right? We focus on what we control, which is, did you show up today? Did you make a little bit of progress. And Seneca says, look, even wisdom is acquired, quote, insight, story, you know, experience by experience. And, and that's how books are written too. There's a great rule in writing, just a couple crappy pages a day. I just try to produce work and then I refine and edit later. But the main thing is showing up, doing the work, trying to get a little bit better every single day. Do you have the job or does the job have you? Do you use your phone or is your phone using you? Do you own stuff or does your stuff own you? For creators, do you have an audience or does the audience have you? The importance of self-control, of autonomy, of self-ownership for the Stoics is everything. They thought being enslaved, being owned by something, someone, some urge, some passion, some profession was the most shameful thing of all. Your independence is everything and yet we willingly we give it up all the time. We give it up to things that don't matter, that we don't actually even like, including stuff like social media. So you gotta decide who's in control, who owns your life, who's calling the shots, who owns who. Life without design is erratic, that's from Seneca. So to me, it's all about routine for me. So every day looks almost exactly the same for me, whether it's the weekend or it's a holiday or it's a hard working day. And so my day is with a couple key things. I wake up early, I don't use the phone for the first 30, 40, 50 minutes I'm awake. I do my big creative task first. I spend some time with a journal. I only have three things scheduled in my calendar every day, right? No more tasks are allowed to be scheduled in the calendar. Then I do some form of hard, strenuous exercise. I try to be done with work and at home with my family by five. At the absolute latest, we do dinner with the family every day, kids in the bath every day, and I read my kids to sleep every day, and that's the perfect day. You have to stop putting stuff off, right? You just have to stop putting stuff off. Marcus Aurelius says, you could be good today, but instead you choose tomorrow. Epictetus asks, how much longer are you gonna wait to demand the best from yourself? Stop putting stuff off. There's this great Latin expression, it just translates to do it if you're gonna do it. It's like the, the Nike slogan, just do it. Don't put it off. If it matters, if it's worth doing, do it now. Because the truth is now you have for certain, you don't know that you have tomorrow. It's arrogant to think that you can get to this next year. It's arrogant to think you'll do that when you retire. Now is now, do it now, don't put it off, do it now. Are you putting in the work? That's the question. You hear people say stuff like, well, I'm gonna trust my gut on this one or I'm, I'm gonna trust my instincts. But the Stoics would say, have you actually done the work to trust those instincts? Have you put in the training and the study and asked the questions and learned from the masters enough that you deserve to do that? Right? A lot of people's instincts lead them to very dark, screwed up places. So it's not simply a matter of trusting your gut. It's about training and putting in the work so your gut 
gut is worth trusting. Epictetus says the key is to get to a place where when something happens, you go, ah, this is exactly what I trained for, right? A lot of people don't get there. They just want to be able to trust their gut. They just want to go with their emotions. They just want to justify what they're thinking about doing anyway by saying, ah, this is what the universe wants. No, you have to put in the work. You don't just magically get there. And it's a lifelong journey. It has to be or else anyone would do it. It'd be wonderful if you could just get your dream job right now, if everything you wanted was handed to you. But that's not how life goes. Marcus Aurelius is chosen to be emperor, but first another man is adopted first, Antoninus Pius, who is set to train Marcus Aurelius. And the idea was that he would live for a few years, set Marcus Aurelius up for the job, and then Marcus would take over. Well, that's not how it went. Antoninus Pius lived for 23 more years, two and a half decades. Marcus Aurelius has to live in the shadow of this man, training though, learning, being prepared, it always takes longer than you think, but it's good that it takes longer than you think because it's preparing you for what you need to do. It's setting you up to be who you want if you choose to learn from it, if you choose to listen, if you choose to have your heart and your mind open, if you are truly egoless, if you are actually willing to learn, if you are actually willing to be made better, and that's what made Marx really so great. It's funny, the biggest book project I ever sold, I wasn't trying to think of my next project. I wasn't trying to make money. I was actually on a hike with my family, with my kids. I had one in a backpack, my wife was holding the other. We were outside, we were out in nature. I wasn't thinking about work at all. And suddenly the idea for my next series, actually a series of four books popped into my head. And I've been working on that now for two years. It was lucrative, but more than that, it was creatively fulfilling and challenging. It's all these things. And that came because I took a few moments of stillness. I decided to go on the hike. I put work aside. And as it happened, work popped into my head. I'm out looking at the sunset on, on my farm and you can hear the frogs and all of this. It, it's moments like this when you're actually not working, when you're consciously not thinking that sometimes your best work, your best ideas pop into your head. That was true for the Stoics. It, it's true for the great artists of all time. And it's true for you and I and normal people. So you got to have time for stillness and reflection and peace. Seneca talks about taking wandering walks, about giving the mind over to relaxation. It's more important than you think. And in fact, it may be for the biggest breakthrough of your life comes from. If you want to learn more about Stoic philosophy totally for free, you can sign up for our daily Stoic email. It's one free email every morning. The best of Stoic wisdom, dailystoic.com slash email.